Hey everybody, it's Jazz Dan Martin coming to you from the Empire State Building, my office, New York City. I'm here to tell you today how to go from indie to industry. So, indie meaning small businesses and industry meaning the huge business like I have. <laughs> First of all, what you have to do is create a niche. By creating a niche, what you do is you'll find a group of customers that actually love and respect and admire that either product or service that you're providing. One, I think that's the most important thing that you have to do because without a customer, you have nothing to sell. I'll use myself as an example. So, let's understand why people buy. You either buy because it's a trend, you buy because there's a need, desire, or want, or it's an impulse buy. So, if you can find something that all three of these particular items would want at the same time, that's brilliant. That's somewhat what Afubu did. We've we captured the market by understanding our customer so well that we've always had something for them. Number two is keeping up with your competitors. And I'm not necessarily saying stalk them. I'm not necessarily saying do what they do. But I try to do what they don't do. You have to really research and understand why your competitors are even there. They can do make products and they can make services and, and do things that may work or may not work. But you can watch and see that, okay, and te test the temperature if whatever you're thinking of will work by, by their fault or by what, what doesn't work for them. What we always looked for was the zig and zag. When my customer is doing A, we do B. And if we did A, we did A plus. And I say A plus where we would put another plus or put something else or put another spin on what the next person was doing. That way we will always step above. That's why you always need to check out your competitors. Okay. And last but not least, it's most, most important to have the right team. Without the right team, you'll go, you'll go nowhere. I was fortunate to have three partners, Damon John, Keith Perry, Carlson Brown, as my partners. And it made the world to me and the world to me is my business. I'm a fashion guy. I stay a fashion guy. That's always what I've been. They're businessmen, they're salesmen, they're production men. And in those cases, they had what I lacked. So you always need someone in there that can do the, the hard work or heavy lifting or maybe do the soft lifting while you do the heavy lifting. But in the end, you always need a great partner.